right, welcome back, everybody. We are on season eight, the final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> so we ended season seven. We had Littlefinger getting his throat cut finally, so we ain't got to deal with his nonsense no more. You got John and Daenerys hooking up in the, on the boat. Even though we find out they found are, out that. They, Aeon. John's real name is Egon Targaryen, so yeah. he's her nephew. Mm -hmm. So we got some little, some old nasty going on. We've been having it the whole show with uh, Jane, well, Jamie. Cersei promised to send her armies and then told, Jamie. told Jamie an idiot because he, he was really going to take him. So yeah. he left to go up to fight with the Northerners. She, then this was before he left but and she, in the process of him leaving said he's gonna you know keep his word yeah. she threatened him by having the mountain pull out his dog gonna swear if you're gonna do it, go ahead and do it just yeah. like uh and he, called her, said. And he called her bluff yeah and the night king <laughs> burnt the wall down yeah at see east that? watch so they're yeah. in the south now so like, Who yeah, knows what's gonna happen see now? See and shoot, that's about all I remember for the season finale. There's so much going on. Yeah, so much going on. But that's the main. That's the big issue, big plot. So, but then the thing is, the thing that I like that in the Stark family, even though Lord Baelish Littlefinger was trying to separate the separate cause a separation between the sisters. Mm -hmm. They actually have pulled together and made a fool out of him. He thought he was making a fool out of them, and they turned and twisted that on him, and he got his uh, throat slit. That's why you don't ever teach your people all your secrets. Mm -hmm. Well, no, they, yeah, that's true. They you end don't up coming back and you know, you're taking your take credit for your stuff, just like the Sith in Star Wars. Mm -mm. Master Master. Uh, the little Sith master never teaches the apprentice all their secrets, or the apprentice will kill them and take over. <laughs> they will. They will. But I'm all about, I do believe in cross training. And let's train people to, because you ain't coming to me all the time. Let's get your education, let's get your knowledge. Yeah. If but you know, you're not gonna get my secret. You're not gonna get the you, very blueprint that I have. If you're doing shady stuff like Bayless, you don't need to teach somebody <laughs> everything you're doing and how you think. Well, you gotta keep some secrets. Well, to isn't it great that he did? Yeah, yeah, it worked out for the the good side for mm -hmm. a change. It only took seven seasons. All right. So, well, let's see what happens in season eight. <laughs> We have suffered at each other's hands. We have lost people we love at each other's hands. This isn't about noble houses. This is about the living and the dead. And I intend to stay amongst the living. The Night King's army grows larger by the day. <laughs> we need allies. Let the monsters kill each other. We will deal with whatever is left. John isn't really my father's son. He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen. The same thing is coming for all of us. And it is here. I hope he doesn't die. Oh, yeah, you don't know the fate of Tormund yet. He, he was on the wall when it collapsed. He's so cute, though. I mean, <laughs> just his personality. His personality. You didn't like him at first. As he was going after my John Snow. <laughs> But now him adjusting. He done grew on you. Yeah. <laughs> this is new. You at the wall? Yeah. It started at the wall this time. So I mean, that's where it's going to be at the Usually they start like down south and work their way up. Now they're starting up north and working their way down. And everything's mm -hmm. white. Mm -hmm. Except for Winterbell. Yeah. Everything around Winterbell is white. 
supposedly Winterfell had like hot springs underneath it. Mm -hmm. They piped the hot water through to keep it warm. Oh, yeah. They changed the little. Mm -hmm. It ain't four how it ain't four of them anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, they completely changed the opening for the last season. That's King's Landing. As I see the map on the floor. Yeah. It's wood instead of metal now. Yeah. Hmm. So that reminds me of me when I the king came. Hmm. Hmm. Then I gotta climb tall. <laughs> Tiny tree. Like a mix between Ari and Bran right there. Mm -hmm. These are the Unsullied? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come people, man. Look at all them people. I know Sansa better not say nothing. I'm going to punch her in the face. You know Sansa's going to have her. I want to hear nothing from her. You know she's going to have her two cents. I like her. Look. She look like she got a glow on her. Look, 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 look. look. All right. Girl, he can't see you. Don't even start. Don't start with your emotions. Look, don't start <laughs> with your emotions. He can't see you. They go to hell. She gonna say to hell. It's a lie. Gendry. She said, "God dang, everybody on my brother's side." Like all my buddies are back. <laughs> Should consider yourself lucky. At least your balls won't freeze off. You take great offense at dwarf jokes, but love telling eunuch jokes. Why? And you do. Mm. Nigga, them too. Where are Sansa at? I warned you. Northerners don't watch trust outsiders. <laughs> She's like, God dang, my brother is the, the stuff. There go, there she is. Now you know why Drogon liked John so much. He got yeah. the Targaryen blood. Oh, that's why. <laughs> He's smelling in him. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, how come Sansa out there, out there to meet him? <laughs> Arya, you should have been over there so he could see you. If he smiled when he saw John. You. Does he know who John is? Man. Almost. He just stared off into space when he saw Sansa. <laughs> <laughs> you? Lurking somewhere. <laughs> Lurking somewhere. Like she always do. Queen Daenerys of House Targaryen. My sister, Sansa Stark, the Lady of Winterfell. Thank you for inviting us into your home, Lady Stark. Thank you. 
Winterfell is yours, Your Grace. We don't have time for all this. The Night King has your dragon. He's one of them now. The wall has fallen. The dead march south. Dang, let's get right on into it. Why don't we, Bran? Bran ain't, Bran ain't messing around. He like, we got stuff to discuss. They probably we need to send here, ravens man. to the Night's Watch as well. There's no sense in manning the castles anymore. We make our stand here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little shit. <laughs> but you're not, are you? What? You left Winterfell a king and came back a... A bee? Not <laughs> sure what you are now. <laughs> it's not important. Not important? We named you King in the North. I told you. <laughs> That's what she's thinking. I told you. You did, my lady. <laughs> when I left Winterfell, I told you we need allies or we will die. I have brought those allies home to fight alongside us. I had a choice. Keep my crown. Shut up. You just like the Rob with your dog on. Thinking with your downside then. <laughs> Down south then up north. Oh, uh, really? If anyone survives the war to come, we'll have Jon Snow to thank. He risked his life to show us the threat is real. Thanks to his courage, we have brought with us the greatest army the world has ever seen. We have brought two full-grown dragons. And soon the Lannister army will... Ride north to join our cause. Hmm. I ain't gonna start here, boo. <laughs> we must fight together now. Or die. She said, baby, I don't... <laughs> Just so that it's like they at the same age, right? Yeah. And they like, baby, don't come for me. I got time for it. That's how I be sometimes. I got time for it. Hmm. I don't too much care for him either, the blind him guy. Weren't you at the witch come table? Uh, Robert's table? His council? Yeah. What he are? No. I'd let him. But she technically, she's technically still married to him. I mean. Well, he never consummated the marriage, so. Oh. Last time we spoke was at Joffrey's wedding. Miserable affair. Hannah's moments. Uh -huh. Apologies for leaving like that. Yes, it was a bit hard to explain why my wife fled moments after the king's murder. We both survived. Many underestimated you. Mm -hmm. Everybody, not your sister yet. You still got home on this. Mm -hmm. You have every right to be fearful of my sister. No one fears her more than I do, but I promise you'll be Cersei safe. Cersei told you her army was coming north. She did. And you believed her. Mm. You are an idiot. Yeah. I believe she wants to survive. I used to think you were the cleverest man alive. <laughs> yeah, you're a stupid fool now. <laughs> yeah, can't believe anything Cersei tells you, Terry. Right? Yeah. Korea. Yeah. But you want to see him die? <laughs> I'm just saying. You see a lot of stuff. He ain't seen Arya yet. Is this John? Yeah, I need him to see Arya. He used to be taller. Oh, thank God. Thank God. How did you sneak up on me? How did you survive a knife through the heart? I didn't. And he the one had the sword made for mm -hmm. her? You still have it. Needle. Have you ever used it? Oh, yeah. Once or twice. Mm. Valyrian steel. Jealous? Too heavy for me. A Valyrian steel knife. Where were you before? I could have used your help with Sansa. She doesn't like your queen, does she? Sansa thinks she's smarter than everyone. Hmm. Since I always do. Smartest person I've ever met. Are you defending her? <laughs> you. I'm defending our family. Huh. Got our him. family too. Don't forget that. What does she say? Don't forget that. Uh, she'll kill him, huh? <laughs> no, I. <are> you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Your, your Grace. I'm afraid I bring terrible news. No terrible news. The dead have broken through the walls. Ha! Huh? Come on now. Good. This heifer. Come on, good. I can't wait till they get her funky tail. I bet yeah, let's just go grab her and throw her out to him. Who the heck are these people? Golden and company. Sell swords she had him go over and hire and pick up. This girl. Please, I mean, why tag her along? If I kill you, who can I talk to? It gets lonely at sea. You pick the losing side. Then I'll sell the arms fleet somewhere else. Okay. What are you going to die? 20,000 men, is it? Yes, Your Grace. Horses? 2,000. And elephants? Uh, no elephants, Your Grace. That's disappointing. In any event, you are most welcome here in King's Landing, Captain Strickland. Yeah, you. he look better than you. It's your ugly self. I like the goat. He look good. He cute. You are a true friend of the crown. As a true friend and an honored guest, I was hoping we could talk in private. After the war, that was our agreement. Wars sometimes last years. Oh. You want a whore by one. You want a queen. Earn her. I've given her justice. An army. And the Iron Fleet. Yet, she gives me no sign of affection. My heart is nearly broken. We don't care about you. She doing, she probably doing this for Jamie, huh? Because Jane, you won't believe. The Queen's brothers made promises <laughs> to you and broke them. Her Grace wants to rectify their mistake. She once gave me a castle and a wife, and then rectified me right out of them. That was Sir Jamie's doing, not hers. So she wants to murder someone, but she can't send her soldiers. If it's a Dragon Queen she's after, she has other plans for the Targaryen girl. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Our Queen's brothers are unlikely to survive their northern adventures, but in the event that they do... That fucking family. <laughs> <laughs> she want both of them dead? I guess. I wanted those elephants. Wanted those elephants. Elephants. Mm -hmm. So... How do I compare to the fat king? I can't stand him. He just ugh. He disgust me. A whore every night, but he still didn't know his way around a woman's body. And the king's there. Hmm. You enjoy risking your neck, don't you? Do I please the queen? No. You might be the most arrogant man I've ever met. Now I want to be alone. I'm gonna get your ugly tail out. I'm going to put a prince in your belly. <laughs> it's too bad you don't know it's already one there. There go her wheels turning already. Mm -hmm. I can oh, say it's his. pregnant. I can say it's his. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> 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 I just need to stop. Oh, what the freak? The end's always been pretty good with the arrows. <laughs> oh. Hope they both don't get caught and get dead.
And you better not say I stay here. Like he did. She's probably gonna punch him in the face for running. <sighs> You knew she was going to do that, too. I didn't remember if she did or not, but it's just her way. <laughs> Come on, hurry up and get out before get up. you run. Come. Euron can't defend the Iron Islands. We can take our home back. Well, Daenerys went north. Daenerys will need somewhere to retreat if they can't hold the north. You're my queen. I go where you command. You want to go to Winterfell, to fight for the Starks. Go. What is dead may never die. Hmm. What is dead may never die. But kill the bastards anyway. They what? But kill the bastards anyway. Uh. The Northmen are loyal to Jon Snow, not to her. I've been up here a while, and I'm telling you, they're stubborn as goats. You want their loyalty? You have to earn it. <laughs> I sense that you're leading to a proposal. A proposal is what I'm proposing. <laughs> On the off chance that we survive the Night King, what if the Seven Kingdoms, for once in their whole shit history, were ruled by a just woman and an honorable man? They do make a handsome couple. You overestimate our influence. John and Daenerys don't want to listen to lonely old men. Not that old. <laughs> Your sister doesn't like me. Hmm. I know I really likes you, girl. Except for the men. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know you. You ain't hear not one female come across her to like her. A Sunday. Who? A Sunday. Who was that? The girl that works with her. Oh, that's because she. She freed her. If she can't respect me. Finisher, chef. I can't do it. Simbaf. What's the matter? The dragons are barely eating. Because they're probably in mourning. What's wrong with them? They don't like the north. Go on. Go on what? I don't know how to ride a dragon. Nobody does until they ride a dragon. <laughs> True. What if he doesn't want me to? Then I've enjoyed your company, Jon Snow. <laughs> Babu, you go and take your dragons out for take them to where they need to go. Well, at least he kind of like. Gave him a little boost. <laughs> what do I hold on to? Whatever you can. Girl, I'm about to slap the crap out of you. <laughs> now, what do I hold on to? What if he fall off? Then she's enjoyed his company. Uh oh, -uh, dude, you better get on that dragon. Hold on, Jon Snow, hold on. Woo! Yeah, be cold up there, man. You know, right? The wind chill factor. <laughs> You know they're doing, they flying pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck no, nah. like you trying to show out now. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> Most definitely hold on for my dear life. Fall? No, he just landed. Oh. I need a break. You've completely ruined horses for me. <laughs> we could stay a thousand years. 
No one would find us. We'd be pretty old. It's cold up here for a southern girl. So keep your queen warm. Holy oh, ass riding. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. He's like, don't make kiss. Don't make kiss on my mama. <laughs> He's like, I'm watching you. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'd be nervous that dang I'm dragging staring me down like that. Isn't easy making a blade that big with dragon glass. You're saying you're good. Is that it? I'm just saying it's a tricky material to know who makes weapons for the wildlings. Cripples and cocksuckers. Which one are you? Leave him be. Hmm. <laughs> they both like. I heard you were here. You left me to die. <laughs> First, I robbed you. You did the same thing you would have did. Mm -hmm. You taught her that. You're a cold little bitch, aren't you? Guess that's why you're still alive. What is that? You're a cold little bitch, aren't you? I, mean, I heard that part. But I'm I guess that's why you're still alive. Oh. That was a nice axe you made for him. Stay close to that forge, then. Oh, is that a command, Lady Stark? Don't call me that. As you wish, my lady. Here's my wish. Can you make it? What do you need something like this for? Can you make it or not? You already have a sword. What's that? It's Valyrian steel. I always knew you were just another rich girl. Come in. Lord Glover wishes us good fortune, but he's staying in Deepwood Mont with his men. Who? Glover. House Glover will stand behind House Stark as we have for a thousand years. Isn't that what he said? I will stand behind Jon Snow, he said. The king in the north. I told you we needed allies. You didn't tell me you were going to abandon your crown. I never wanted a crown. All I wanted was to protect the north. Do you think we can beat the army of the dead without her? I fought them, Sansa, twice. You want to worry about who holds what title? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Without her, we don't stand a chance. Do you have any faith in me at all? Yes. You know I do. But like, hmm. She'll be a good queen. For all of us. And she's not her father. Did you bend the knee to save the North? Or because you love her? <laughs> Tell it like it is, girls. <laughs> Both kind of. <clears throat> oh. So you're the man? I'm... Um, which man am I, Your Grace? The one who saved Ser Jorah when no one else could. I'll have to make some changes in the Citadel when I take my throne. A great service merits a great reward. Oh, it's my honour to serve you, Your Grace. Well, there must be something I could give you. Oh. You burn it? I could use a pardon. For what crime? Um, I borrowed a few books from the Citadel. <laughs> also a sword. From the Citadel? From my family. It's been in House Tarly for generations, so it would have been mine anyway, eventually. Not Randall Tarly. You know him? Mm, she killed him. We met. I offered to let him retain his lands and titles if he bent the knee. He refused. So you kill my daddy? And my brother. Why are you crying? He treated you like shit, Sam. But still, as his daddy, he know. always wanted to... At least I'll be allowed home again. He and always wanted the, the validation from his dad. And adoration from his your dad. Your brother stood with your father. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. She a cold person, huh? At least she told him 
At least she told him. He didn't find you, out. Your grace. Thank you. Telling me. Um, may I be excused? Of course. There ain't nobody gonna want to fight for you or do anything. You burn people up. You know? Mm-hmm. Let's be real. And then he gonna find out uh, Jon Snow. Hmm. Break his eyes like that for. <laughs> you knew. He didn't tell me. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Waiting for an old friend. What old friend is that? It's time to tell John the truth. You're his brother. Shouldn't you tell him? I'm not his brother. Hmm. He trusts you more than anyone. Hmm. And he's good then. Well, now's the time. They're about to tell them now. React to this. Well, you really ain't got you really ain't got no pool in North now, huh? Because you ain't. You just them. The heck? Damn, what old Sam. <laughs> Sam? Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to be down here. <laughs> you been crying. For me? Of course not. What are you doing in Winterfell? Or did you read every book in the Citadel already? What's wrong? Gilly? Is she all right? She's got a little son. Don't you know? Don't you know, know what? what? Daenerys. She executed my father and brother. Hmm. He knew. She didn't tell you. Hmm. I'm so sorry. Hmm. I'm just saying. I'm like, hmm. 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 So you lost. Would you have done it? When I've executed men who disobeyed me. You've also spared men. But you were. You've always been. I gave up my crown, Sam. Hmm. I bent the knee. I'm not king in the north anymore. I'm not talking about the king in the north. I'm talking about the king of the bloody seven kingdoms. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, Sam. What are you talking about? Your mother was Lyanna Stark. Hmm. And your father, your real father, it was Rhaegar Targaryen. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You are Aegon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. My father was the most honorable man I ever met. Ned. You said he lied to me all my life. Your father, what? Ned Stark, he promised your mother he'd always protect you. And he did. Robert would have murdered you if he knew. You're the true king. Hmm. And Ned knew that and he went to death knowing that and yeah. he didn't open his mouth. He didn't even tell Kat on that. Yeah, Kat he, had... he kept that secret from her. He kept that secret from everybody. That's why he was that's why he got mad every time Robert talked about killing Targaryen kids. Oh. It's the truth. You gave up your crown to save your people. Would she do the same? Hmm. Nope. Oh, hell no, she wouldn't. She sure wouldn't. Hmm. She wouldn't. She burned people alive because they won't serve her. Oh, what kind of mess is that? For real. But you let the slaves be free. Okay. Man is bad. My man is bad. What is that? A winterfell? No. In the town? Some other. Oh, probably where the kid went to. Probably. Numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm-mm. That's a dark alley. Look like it. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. Hang on, man. Back. We're back down. Oh, Lord Jesus. I bet you light that thing on fire so you can see. Look, I got my eyes closed, y'all. I got my eyes. <laughs> 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 
Johnny Buck, he's got blue eyes. I've always had blue eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You see everybody else around me got no blue eyes. Find anyone. Stay back, you got blue eyes. I always have blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Dying. They what? The Umber boy. His arm is between us and Winterfell. We're on foot. We rode down from Castle Black. We can double up on the horses. If the horses last. <gasps> Dude! Wasn't <Horses> gone <laughs> Was that that boy that was at the thing that said, I'm going home? Yeah. I need more horses? Yeah. Well, they're getting close, huh? Yeah. I knew that'd be the first town that they hit. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Where the freak Jamie at? So it's taking him a long time to get there, isn't it? I had to guess. I would say that's him right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang. Took him a long time. Look like he got like more gray hair just over that trip. It's a long way from King's Landing to Winter. Well, it I'm takes sorry. a month to ride there. But I'm sorry. Any other time it had been taken. Oh, I know. There's an old friend brand has been waiting for. Uh, oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you thought he was dead. Come on over here so I can tell you your future. That's how you go <laughs> tell <laughs> Come on over here so I can tell you what? Done already. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we done already. Oh, my goodness. What do you think about episode one? Of episode one was good. John is home. Um, Sansa ain't Sansa, Sansa being Sansa. Yeah, she ain't but, liking Daenerys too much. But at the same time, a lot of people wouldn't because this is my thing. Y'all, correct me if I'm wrong. And then, you know, you got everybody who's the experts on this show, this this TV series. I ain't one of them. Uh, <laughs> you can set the slaves free. But you gonna burn? You gave them a choice. Why did they choice could be you set free? You you know you roll with me, which leads to it leads to those people really ain't free. Cause them uh, if you free them and they decide they don't want to go with you, what you gonna do? The unsullied all those men. What you gonna do? Burn them up because they decide they don't want to go your way now. I mean that's what you have to think of. Because in reality, they said they serve her because they want to serve her. Um, and those who don't and don't want to serve her has been burn up. Right? Oh, once she got the Westeros, yeah. Well, They've been burned up. up. No, too. she, yeah. It's wherever she goes. If you don't want to serve her, she won't, she going to burn you up. That's true. It's one way to look at it. So, I mean, that's what I've been seeing throughout the whole time as she growing up. So she could be getting crazy like her daddy. I'm just saying. Her daddy won't blow, blow, uh, burn everybody. Yeah. So I'm just saying. I'm glad that now Jamie is there. And I can't believe Brad was been sitting there waiting on his friend. Waiting for an old friend. Well, he was I knew <laughs> Yeah, he he'd been out there for a while. Yeah, waiting on his well, yeah, he was sitting out there when John rode up. So he could have been sitting out there for days. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Or he might have just been sitting out there waiting on John, but But I'm glad Jamie is there because I'm like, when when 
definitely gonna get there because any other time, like in season seven, it took them no time to get to where they need to go. Well, now they're gonna find weeks. out that the Lannister army ain't coming. Yeah. Yeah. And Tyrion going like, "What she said? You an idiot?" <laughs> yeah. Like she said, Jamie's an idiot. And let's see. And Daenerys. I mean, Sam. Regardless of how his dad treat him, at some point, family is family. Like I told you, family is family. Yeah. So regardless if Sam got talked down to by his dad, but not by his brother. Because when we sat there, the brother wasn't talking down to him. And you notice they switch out the brothers. But no. that's not the same yeah, person. But uh, his brother didn't talk down to him. And regardless... He wouldn't want his mother and his sister to be hurting because now his dad and their brother's gone. So mm-hmm. that's the thing. It's it's a family connection, regardless of what how dad treat him. He he ain't gonna want he don't want to see his mama hurt and crying and depressed, you know. But Daenerys, she was just bold with it. Not Randall, Tarly. He would not bend the knee. So I killed her. I mean, pretty much really. Really, really, that's how she was. Really, so yeah. Um, so that's two people that don't care for her Sansa and Sam. Of course, we know Cersei don't care for anybody because she want to be the queen of seven, the seven kingdoms. She has no birthright or anything to that kingdom at all. So she's just like a mercenary coming to say, Oh, let me sit on this throne, this man. Let me take it from your. Let me take your birthright. That's how Cersei is, and Tyrion and yeah, I really like. Do you really believe your sister was? You really believe that she was hoping that you die? The Night Walkers would kill you. Yeah, that's what she's hoping. Well, now she's sending Bronn up there to kill. Bronn ain't kill gonna kill nobody. He ain't gonna kill nobody. You never know. He, uh, he enough is. money. Whatever. He can see that having all the gold and silver in the world, that's not going to save you from the Night Walkers. Or the doggone Dragon Queen. So I don't think he's going to, I don't think he's going to fall through it. He probably, he's going to be like Cersei and lie and say, yeah, I do it. But I don't think he's going to follow through with it. And the thing that, you know, Jon Snow got on the dragon. Yeah. Look at him. He got the one he's track. riding is the one named after his dad. Really? Yeah, I think that's Rhaegal, the one she named after her brother. Her brother, Rhaegar. Yeah. I think Viserion was the one named after the idiot. I think that's the one that died. Uh, so, well, it's very interesting. I just want to see how it's going to, how this is going to all. Now Jon Snow knows who he truly is. Yeah. He knows who he truly is and what he's going to do with that information. And he's probably going to tell Sam to keep it a secret. So the only people will know is Bran, Jon, and um, Sam. Not, not Littlefinger, not the Barris. Right. Well, yeah, but I'm saying to still the people that work for him, the bearers, the, you know, the children and all this stuff, the little people that that whispers and get information, they like hide it in the crevices and stuff. So now we just, we just have to see how this unfolds. And Arya, she knows she's glad to hound alive. Yeah. And hound glad to. They, they too. Cold, not cold hearted. They're both not cold hearted. I think they, they like teddy bears, both of them. But they got to do what they got to do. Right. right. They got to do what they got to do. And they like each other. I mean, they formed a, well, they did, did like a relationship. A, a, kind of like a father daughter relationship. Yeah. Or at least he a protected big her. brother, little sister relationship. Yeah. He protected her. And I'm glad that Tor- the Torment, it's not Torment. The, Torment is not dead. Yeah. Very happy about that. But I knew that boy when he said, well, we need more carriages and, and horses, my lady. But take what you need and go on back to your thing and grab all the people. That, I knew they, he wasn't coming back. I knew it. <laughs> I'm like, that's going to be the first town they hit. 
Everybody else there except for your people. Them people won't listen to him probably because he a well, kid. His his place is closest to the wall. It's called Last Heart. So, so it's the last stop, last place before you get to Castle Black, I think. Mm. Well, oh, well, well, well. We about to see, <laughs> we about to see what's going to happen. All right. If this is your first time joining us on this journey, hit the subscribe button. As always, leave us a thumbs up and your comments. Until next time, bye bye.